Hot Take Radio. I'm at Florida Hamcation, and then I'm going to be visiting the ARRL luncheon, and I'm going to be visiting a whole bunch of booths and meeting a bunch of friends along the way on Take Radio. So play that awesome intro video. Some of the stuff on the left is from field day, but the majority of it in the middle of the table is what I'm taking to Florida. Let's get this stuff packed. There we go. The table's cleared. All the electronics and batteries are packed. What, what? Look how much less stuff I'm taking. Man, I just want to do conventions from now on. There's no camping equipment, radios, well, other than the HT, but man, look how much less things I had to pack. There he goes, Mr. 1000 Subs, riding in first class. Ooh, fireworks. Orlando, Take Radio is here, rejoice. Thursday morning, we're hanging out at the ARRL tracks. We got several meeting rooms going on with um, interesting forms and presentations they have by the ARRL. Jason just wrapped up his POTA uh, presentation that he got from Mike. We're not going to mention that. And the great and powerful Josh showing us how to find QRM around our house and our neighborhood. And a presentation on satellites. I took a lot of good notes on this one. But, uh, man, we're having fun. I'm looking forward to the ARR lunch. And a special thank you to the ARRL for the convention. If you have a chance to take the tracks class, I highly recommend it. I learned a lot of good information. me is all of the gigapart setup and over here is the schedule for the meet and greet and who's that that got his own spot yes me take radio yay i'm here at eris and i got another frank you know one of us got to leave because there only could be one frank <laughs> that's true but um tell us what's going on with eris Oh, well, we've got a uh, lot going on on Space Station all mm -hmm. the time. Uh -huh. uh, we do 60 to 80 schools uh -huh. a year. A year? A year. Wow. So it's like one to two a, a week. Uh -huh. And then um, if we're not doing schools, we're doing um, voice repeater mm -hmm. or APRS. Mm -hmm. Or slow scan television. So there's always something going on on Space Station for folks to oh, oh that's to, pretty to, cool to try out. So what hardware do you bring when you go to a school to um, do a satellite contact? So or the um, ISS contact. Basically, there's two different ways you can do these contacts. You either we either can use our, our ground stations that are all around the world. Mm -hmm. So in other words, instead of setting up a station at the school, we have them all set up already. Or to set up a station at the school, you need uh, basically a two meter um, gained antenna, Azel rotator, orbit tracking program, and a you know a decent uh, transmitter. Oh, that's that's awesome. And you're telling me a bit, or I was being told a little bit yesterday. You were showing the kids how to use one of these small SDR receivers. Yes, in the process of finishing the development of a system called Stereo. Uh huh. Part that you're talking about is this. This, uh, this SDR part we call Sparky for Space Pioneers Amateur Radio Kit. <laughs> We've incorporated that in a Raspberry Pi because schools can't just take put and put software on their school machines because of the firewall mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know the, the requirements of safety from a security perspective. So we developed a standalone system that uh, with a Raspberry Pi and all the other tools that go along with that, the uh, uh, RTL SDR dongle where they can uh, end the software to allow them to easily get in and, and interact with the spectrum, the amateur, well, the whole radio spectrum, you know, going from HF all the way to two gigs. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, if people want to find out more information, where, where would they go? Best place to go is aris.org, A-R-I-S-S.org. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to today. I appreciate it, Frank. Frank, nice to see you. Thank you. We can be frank with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in there. I love it. 
I'm here with Steve and Ed here at M17. This is a cool new digital project on uh, HF and UHF? Nope, just VHF and up. VHF and up? Yep. So uh, what, what is M17? So M17 is a new digital radio protocol that's in development to replace all the proprietary and patent encumbered uh, radio protocols that are available to the amateur radio operator today. Yep. So if you know what DMR, D-Star, Fusion, all of those are, M17 uh, aims to be a replacement for those. Uh -huh. We're free and open source, so anybody can implement, uh, anybody can play around with, hack it, you know, put it into different things, make different projects with it. It's just a digital radio protocol that we're aiming to, to be free and open source for everybody to use. I, I love that idea, I love that concept because it's, on the digital radios, it's just codecs. Right. Codex encoding and like you said, uh, D-Star, DMR, and Fusion is all copyrighted. Yeah. I love that you're trying to make that open source and everything. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that when they're buying, uh, say, a DMR radio, they're actually paying for a license to use that voice voice codec. Mm -hmm. M17 uses codec 2, which is completely free and open source. You don't need to pay anybody to use it. M17 is taking the higher bit rates, the 1600 and 3200 bit rate mode of codec 2, putting it on VHF and up, and coming up with a better digital radio protocol for everybody. Cool. So what, what do you got going on right here? So right here, I'm actually programming uh, a hotspot so that we can use it via simplex on a cell phone. So there's a software called DroidStar. 88DP, Doug, who developed the software, has now actually made it able so that you can plug in a hotspot into your phone and use it as a simplex radio. So basically you're turning your phone into an HT using a hotspot. Oh, that is awesome. Yep. And, and that's still prototype this right now, right? It, well, it, it, the software is there, but the prototyping of actually using it yeah. for M17 is yeah, still in development. Yeah. Um, where do you, can, anyone can go to find out more information? Website is m17project.org. M17project.org, awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking the time Thanks, to, to talk to me. Thanks for stopping by, Frank. No problem, no problem. And uh, y'all have a good hand fest. Thank, thank you. you. You too. Here I'm at the Gigaparks booth and they have this new Bronco they just wrapped. But I think it needs a little something. Something little right there. So I'm with Tom. Are you part of any group association or are you just doing this for the fun? Um, just out here for the fun. So you're doing satellite passes and yeah. showing how to do a satellite pass. You just completed one and one yesterday. Yesterday's was a linear satellite. Mm -hmm. and, and what what is a linear satellite? Linear uh, uh, encompasses using sideband. So it allows you to have more than one QSO on the pass versus FM, which is single channel. Uh -huh. And you only have one you know, at a time. At a time. That's, that's pretty cool. And yeah. uh, what what is your setup right here? Uh, the setup I got right here is an ICOM 910 um, with some DJ headphones. Mm -hmm. And I got a lifting battery with a 100 watt uh, solar panel. And uh, uh, the battery is a 16 amp hour, so it's more than enough juice to uh, handle that power requirement for the uh, 910. So this is a older IC, uh, you said a 1910. Yeah. And uh, why did you choose this particular radio? It's, it, was, it was in my price range. Okay. Uh, some that's, that's, a good reason. that's a good reason. <laughs> you know, everybody can't afford uh, 9700, so mm -hmm. it's feasible enough to uh, get things done out there. Well, uh, with this particular radio, what I saw and I, th I was thinking that you might go into, you have two antenna ports on the back. You have a transmit and receive. One for each band. One for each band. Yeah. Because it's a full duplex radio, mm -hmm. so that way you can uh, be able to transmit and simultaneously receive at the same time. That's the whole purpose of uh, a full duplex when you work satellite. Mm -hmm. So that way you can hear yourself and don't interfere with somebody else. Oh, that's that's yeah. pretty good. As, um, I've been trying. I've been trying. <laughs> you heard gonna, my woes already. We're going to get you there. Do you have any tips and tricks if, for if anyone else is trying to struggle and get that Q, first QSO? I highly recommend uh, working... Some of the weekday passes on FM birds. Yeah. Uh, weekend, as you heard, it's a little chaotic. Oh yeah. I tried. <laughs> last try I did was winter field day. You yeah. figured how chaotic that is. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, 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 I highly recommend for anybody that's new coming to Salt Lake, uh, work some of the weekday passes if, if you can. They're less crowded and there's a lot more room where you can uh, be able to use a full duplex handy talk and work some of those passes mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. uh, AO 91 is a good one. Uh, whenever uh, AO 92 is on, you have to check the AMSAT uh, status page uh, when it's on. Any, anything you want to plug? Are you, are any groups you're with? or? Uh, the main ones I'm with is AMSAT and uh, AWRL. Cool. So I'm, 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 I'm totally mainstream. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Oh, no problem. And um, hopefully you'll hear me on one of these things one day. I hope so too. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is W1AW stroke four at Tam Vention. CQ, I'm calling CQ. This is W1AW stroke four calling CQ, CQ, CQ. November 3, Delta Radio Lima stroke four. Delta Radio Lima. November 3, Delta Radio Lima, Stroke 4. I'm hearing you a 5555 um, five, five, five. QSL. You're a 55. Five. I've got my uh, power turned way down, so don't uh, uh, just blow up everything. Sounding great. I'm just out here in the parking lot. Uh, nice to work for you. Have a good uh, trip home. 73 and 3 DRL. You too, you too. Be safe. This is uh, W1AW, Stroke 4, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Kilo 7, Papa India Alpha. Kilo 7, Papa India Alpha. I'm hearing you a 5555 five, 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 uh, QSL. Okay, uh, W1AW stroke 4. This is Kilo 7, Papa India Alpha. You're 59 into the uh, RHR remote in Maine. Roger. Thank, thank you very much. Um, thank you much for the contact. Yeah, thank you for the contact. 7-3. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.